reckon children are our greatest teachers, and that may well be true, but it is also undeniable that being in the grip of a strong desire to become someone's mother is a very powerful force for growth, and if we choose to embrace it and do the emotional and spiritual work that is being demanded of us, amazing things can happen. What will it take for you to become the person you need to be in order to have the experience you so badly want to be having? The conscious mind has the will and the unconscious mind has the power. If your goal is to have a baby and it hasn't yet happened for you, the chances are good that there could be an underlying conflict between your conscious desire to conceive and your unconscious beliefs and expectations about pregnancy, childbirth and parenthood based on your early experiences of life. Humans are born with brains which are relatively underdeveloped compared to other mammals. Although we do come equipped with some innate survival instincts, much of what it takes to survive in the world we have to learn how to fit in in the context of the family and community that we were born into. As a species, this gives us an awesome capacity to adapt to the environment we land in, but it comes at a cost. We learn from the people around us at home first, then at school, and through exposure to the norms of the wider community around us. We also draw conclusions from our personal experiences in early life about what is safe or dangerous for us, what is likely to bring pleasure or pain. As learners, we progress from unconscious incompetence, when we don't yet know what we don't know, to conscious incompetence, where we are aware that we have not yet understood or mastered something to conscious competence. After practicing, we learn that we know how to do something. And finally, we arrive at unconscious competence, where we sit down in the driver's seat, put the key in the ignition and turn it and set off focused purely on where we want to go and not having to think through every step in the process of driving a car. Unconscious competence is wonderful. It frees our conscious minds to contemplate new problems or pleasures while our body intelligence gets on with the routine business at hand. Unconscious competence is also terrible when the old learning, the old understandings about how the world works are no longer well adapted to our new situation and new life goals. In this situation, we are completely unaware of what is driving our behaviour and shaping our emotional responses to life. All we know is that we are unhappy, that something is not working the way we would like it to, and it can often feel as though the problem is all out there, beyond our personal sphere of control. By the time you were seven, certainly by the time you were 16, you had absorbed and developed a bunch of unconscious understandings about what it means to be a woman, to get pregnant, to be a mother. If you are having trouble getting pregnant when you really want to, it might be time to do an in-depth review of how your early life experiences and family history may have contributed to some powerful beliefs which are standing in the way of your current goal. If you're not sure how to begin and you would like a companion and guide to venture into this unknown territory with you, please get in touch with me.